It's been so long, like five years. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but this month, I'm running really late. I think I'm pregnant. I've been getting strange texts lately. I don't know. They don't make sense. It's just creepy. Look, Vincent, you're not hiding anything from me, are you? Hey, do you think we'll work out? This isn't just because I got pregnant, right? I can trust you, right? I've been scared ever since I thought I was pregnant. I knew that it was going to freak you out. I guess this is farewell then. Goodbye. I see this weary feeling. I can't remember the last time I was alone in the city. Man, what a fucking dump. Damn it, what the hell am I supposed to do? Catherine? Uh. Catherine? Oh, uh, hi. A bug? Um, no, I'll definitely swing by probably later in the evening. Yes, sorry about that. Yeah! Oh, it's cold. Man, I can't believe this. Don't get so down, man. You'll end up dying for real. Hey, I wouldn't happen to be in the middle of a dream right now, would I? Huh? Wow, you are fucked up. I mean, who dreams about taking a shit with another guy? <sighs> hey, was she serious? <sighs> yeah. She's not answering my calls. I expected that, though. Huh. In hindsight, maybe you shouldn't have dumped that other chick, huh? About that. I broke up with her at the bar. And yet, the next day, Catherine came to my room and she was there. It was a horrific scene. Man, am I glad it was a dream. But it feels weird. I feel like it wasn't a dream. Dude, if it wasn't a dream, your ex-girlfriend would be all over the news. After all, you told me she stabbed the other girl, right? So, uh, what's the deal then? Cheating girl hasn't called you either? I don't know. I doubt it. What do you mean, I doubt it? You, <laughs> you haven't checked. Nothing's here. Ah, no calls, huh? Ah, it's too bad. No, 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 no. It, it's all gone. What's wrong? You had a toilet paper in there? Oh, I gotcha. Dude, it is seriously gone. What the hell is this? Chill. I'm getting you some right now. I'm running Everything. over here too. It's, it's all gone. Why? Just hold on. Damn. Not the goddamn toilet paper. Her texts. They're all gone. Fuck, her info too. Uh, her info? Not just that. Incoming calls, outgoing calls. Number two? Everything related to it, it's all gone! It disappeared. Hey, what about that one pick? Oh, that pick? I can't find it. It's missing too! The fuck, man? I never got to see it. What is going on? 
Well, maybe Catherine deleted it when she found out you cheated. When you weren't looking? She wouldn't do something like that. Well, maybe the girl you dumped did it. That's not it. I used this phone to call her yesterday. We met, split, and, and that was that. Yesterday? Where was that? What do you mean, where? At the bar. Where else? You guys were watching. We saw it? Yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything. What the fuck are you talking about? You saw me with her! Huh? With who? After that mess with her, you guys came by and tried to cheer me up, remember? You don't remember that? Uh, yeah, I remember that part. But all I saw was you looking pathetic by yourself. By myself? Yep. But she was with me, right? I said I didn't see her. Hell, I never even saw her once. You're joking, right? Johnny and Toby never saw her either. We've only heard about her from you, numbnuts. We thought you were doing that to prevent Catherine from finding out. <laughs> yeah, like I'd have the brains to do that. Whatever. Look, I only saw you yesterday. You were all fucked up, man. You tried talking to me, but you just sat there holding your head. No way. Look, man. I hate to say this, but maybe you really are starting to lose it. I mean... Uh... Stop saying that. You're making me question my sanity here, man. Uh, you were sane before? I mean, you guys were just distracted, right? That's impossible. That would be like... <sighs> oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Huh? In a bar like that, it looks like hers. No one... No. That's impossible! Maybe she was a dream girl. <laughs> hey, come on. Talk to me. I can't. This is so fucked. Hey, it was a joke, man. All traces of her are gone. Nobody's seen her. This can't be real. Dude, you're really scaring me, man. You honestly sound crazy now. Vincent, maybe you should- Shut up! I'm not crazy! It's her fault I'm going through all this! She's got to fucking exist! This is all bullshit! I'll agree with you there, pal. I'm splitting, okay? Hey, whoa, whoa, wait! What? The cell phone just glitched, that's all. And last night, you just weren't paying attention, right? Again with this? I didn't see anything. Don't you believe me? <sighs> Whatever, man. I, I know. Erica must have seen her. She works there. She might know something about her. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Just come to the bar with me tonight. I will show you that you're wrong. It's okay, man. I'm fine with being it's wrong. It's not okay! Jeez. What's up with you, man? Hey. So, did you and Catherine really break up? Yes. Oh, I see. Well, enough about that. Back to yesterday. Try and remember. Uh, I told you already. Seriously? Yeah, you're talking about last night, aren't you? I remember everything. You came here alone, you left alone, uh, and the entire time you were here, you drank alone. Right, Toby? That's exactly how I remember it. Maybe you're just spacing out from lack of sleep. After all, you were pretty messed up last night. Uh, yeah, you were totally fucked up, dude. So, so, so what, I, I was just dreaming the entire time I was here? I'm sick of these goddamn dreams every goddamn night. Wait, th then when did that dream start? This is so fucked up! Hey, man, keep it down. I'm only in this mess because I cheated with her. Come on, someone tell me, where the hell is she? Dude, I don't know. <sighs> My head hurts. Oh, hey, are you all right? Yeah, like that. You were by yourself just like that. Maybe you were dreaming. You really messed up. I'm not messed up. I'm just saying that it's impossible for her not to exist. Anyway, pills, alcohol, nothing works for that. Yeah. I keep seeing it. Whoa, you guys are still having it? Although now that you mention it, Erica looked like she was having a nightmare too. Oh, you noticed? I don't remember anything though. 
You too, Erica? I thought only men had that dream. So maybe gender doesn't matter, huh? Uh, well, uh, I'm not so sure. <sighs> it's because you guys won't shut up about nightmares. The same thing with the other customers, too. Is it a weird chain reaction? Hey, dreams we've been having. Don't you feel like we're all seeing the same dream? Really? I can't remember much, but you know, it felt like I was trying to get the hell away from something. Uh, like that? Just climbing up and up. Yeah, mine was like that too. Or more like struggling without getting anywhere. So what, we're being shown the same dream? <laughs> Dumbass. Dreams are just a reflection of daily stress. <laughs> stress? <laughs> from what? Dude, there's plenty of stress in everyday life. Oh, yeah, but... Does that mean I'm gonna have these nightmares too, eventually? Oh, man, I hope not. It's all because this jackass started talking about it. Since I've been hanging out with him so much, he's transferred some of his stress onto me. So, Vincent, how are you gonna make it up to us, huh? Uh, out like a light. Oh, he's messed up again. <sighs> I'm going home. My head hurts. I understand being shocked, but... Did it really screw someone up this bad? <sighs> we have an early shift tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah, you're right. We should get going. Hey, Vincent. We're gonna take off now. You sure you're okay by yourself? Uh, I'm not crazy. That jury's still out. He's not gonna tell us he met that girl again later on, is he? Idiot. I wouldn't do that. I did see her last night. Yeah, yeah. We've heard that from you all night long, remember? Well, thanks for the fucking help. I'm just gonna drink some more. I'll keep an eye on him, so you guys can go on home. Oh, sorry, Erica. Take care of him, will you? I'll be fine. I just want to figure out what is going on. Hey, you all right? Mind if I sit here? Uh, hi, excuse me. Mind if I sit here? What? Uh, I was just thinking about it. It's only been a week since... Since when? Since I met that girl here. Can life really change this much just like that? Mm, it happens, but maybe it's the dreams. If you don't get enough sleep, your brain won't function right, and you start seeing things differently. So you're saying that you think she's an illusion too, right? No, I'm not saying that. Yes, you are. So, to be honest, I, I don't even know what's going on myself. Fuck. A lot happened. You're probably just a bit confused. Plus, you have been drinking a lot lately. Hey, can I get an order? Uh, sure thing. Maybe I am going crazy. Fuck. <sighs> okay. That night, it was like this. I had a bad dream the night before, so I was here drinking, trying to forget. They all left early. I stayed here, then... Then she walked in. <sighs> Wait a second. That night, when she walked in the bar, there was something... Wow, there's a lot of people here. But this isn't really my crowd. I'm sorry, miss. That's right. She spoke to someone else besides me. Oh, yes. May I help you? What are you going on about? No, 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 don't play coy with me. I'm talking about Catherine. You saw her, didn't you? I saw her? Um, excuse me, don't but... Don't fuck with me, old man! I am serious! Hey! Hey, Vincent! Everyone else said that they didn't see her. Then don't you think it's crazy that only you did? You're the one that's crazy. Me? See her? Because of her, I'm starting to lose it. I already know that you're the key. Damn it, why didn't I realize it sooner? Come on, cut it out! 
You saw her! I know you saw her! Speak up! Stop moaning and answer me, goddammit! Vincent! Fuck! <coughs> Just... say something. Please, man. Please. Tell me that you saw her! Well, very well. <clears throat> if you must persist. Yes, I did indeed see her. Huh? She was blonde, wearing a provocative white dress, like lingerie. Yeah, 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 that's the girl. And you saw her with me yesterday, right? Yes, of course. It's your preference, isn't it? <laughs> Girls like her. So then, you admit it. All right. See? He did see her. <sighs> Jesus. Really? You are just full of surprises. Not only did you survive this long, but to think you figured me out. Huh? I must commend you for your perception. Uh, well, I didn't really perceive anything. And sorry about the choking. A lot happened, so I was a bit freaked out. <laughs> Tell me you didn't see her. There is no way she does not exist. <laughs> well, normally that is the case. Normal people can't see her after all. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Wait, what? That's only natural. After all, she isn't from this realm. Boss? It was rather unnatural, wasn't it? <laughs> a girl like her in a town like this? <laughs> Either way, you don't need to worry. <laughs> I have given up on showing you nightmares. Showing me nightmares? It was quite a sight watching you run like the wind. Uh, what are you talking about? Huh? She was here, right? Her, Catherine. Huh? Uh, wait, you didn't rush me because... I just... I just wanted proof that she really existed. I knew that you saw her. You did, right? Ah... I see. Ah... Hey. <clears throat> the usual, sir. Rum and cola, was it? Hey, boss. Can I ask you something? Uh, what would that be? You see, I thought that nightmares were something that you see on your own. So could it be... that... That... That someone else can show you one? Well, I... I, I wonder... Come on. Uh, well, I, I wonder... I wonder my ass. Pretty sure I just heard you say you're somehow involved in this. Uh, did I? You heard him, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, he did. So what was that all about? Huh? Well, uh... What did I say? You were surprised I survived? What does that mean? I didn't say that. You said it. I didn't say it. Stop fucking with me! I know that you're hiding something! Tell me! I don't know. Why do I have to go through all this shit? Well, it's not just you. Excuse me, I was not expecting this turn of events. Fuck you! Every day is unexpected for me! Then what is with these fucking shades? You are indoors! You. Who the fuck are you? Please, stop. You're dealing with a desperate man now. Thanks to you and your bullshit, Catherine and I are through. Explain yourself, you fucking monster. <sighs> Allow me to introduce myself. I, Thomas Mutton, am... Okay, okay. Uh, to sum it up, when there are people like you, who spend a long amount of time with a partner without commitment. It impedes the population model. The rate of population growth is less than optimal. What the hell are you talking about? So, I have these hesitant gentlemen climb that. Wait, you're talking about the nightmare? Oh, you're the one behind that? Who, who the hell are you? 
I have been given many names by humans since ancient times. Wasting a woman's time of greatest fertility is a hindrance to the future of the species. So we separate these non-fruitful couples and redistribute the women to men who can follow the natural order, you see? Okay, so what? You're just killing men who have a partner that they don't want to marry? Is that it? Well, to put it bluntly... You think I'm gonna accept your bullshit story? Please do not worry. You won't see that young girl ever again. Huh? She is a succubus. She appears at will and seduces men under the curse by appearing as their ideal woman. If you're going to sever ties with a long-time partner, what better way than with a messy affair, right? Oh, man. <sighs> Do you understand everything now? <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get everything. So, in the end, what am I guilty of? <sighs> if the girl doesn't exist, then it's not cheating. If it feels like cheating, then it's cheating, right? You think... You think you can just get away with this? Uh, well, it isn't like I just started this job yesterday. After all, the reason you were born was because we weeded out the man who was misleading your mother. <laughs> I do believe that was the case. You better stop fucking with me. If you don't wish to believe, that's fine. However, it is a necessary evil. <sighs> Having a broken heart may be painful, but you have also earned your freedom. Plus, you have a fierce will to survive. You should be able to grasp happiness again soon enough. To me, she... she was already family. I only realized that after I was dumped. <laughs> How pathetic is that? I really can't help you there. This entire situation is your fault, right? So what are you gonna do about it? Huh? What? You're the one who cheated. How is that my fault? Look, sure as shit isn't mine. You're the cause of it all. Plus, I was ready to get married. You got your wish. Uh, but that was only due to your cheating on her, right? Besides, it's too late to make up with her now. You don't get to decide that. If you really intend to push me, tonight I will have to show you what I can really do. If that happens, then tonight will certainly be your last. Are you prepared to die? Prepared to die, huh? Ooh. I tell you what. What if you die here before I do? Vincent! Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Yo! You still alive? We came back since we're worried about you. Let's drink some more, man. Wouldn't be able to sleep anyway. I didn't have any problem sleeping. Uh, hey, something happened? Uh, guys, Boss and Vincent are- It's okay, don't say anything. Uh, but- What's wrong? Uh, sorry, I, uh, I haven't finished my chat with him yet. You guys start the party without me. Whatever you say, just don't go aggro, you drunk. Ah, don't worry, we're just, just playing some games here. <laughs> right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> There's no point screwing around with you. I'll let you off. For now. But in return, about what you were saying, if I am still alive tomorrow, you're gonna grant me my wish. Wait, Vincent. What are you saying? I'm telling you, it's impossible. Then you should have no problem making that promise. If you really can control the nightmares, then make this one the last. It will be the last, whether you win or lose. Not just for me. Everyone else. It ends tonight. And not only that, you're going to arrange to have Catherine meet me here. That's impossible. Well, I can't do it. I can't call her, and it's not like I can just text her. <sighs> Very well. If you agree, then I honor your conditions. Really? Great. 
And remember, you better keep your promise. Got it? Oh, hey, Vincent. Are you sure about this? One week of this bullshit is more than enough. And sorry to make you worried back there, but I gotta end this. Not so much with this jackass, but with myself. What's with him? Acting all badass. So, uh, boss, you said... <gasps> We're boss? Yo, delivery! As promised, dinner and a tune coming right up. Hi! Hmm? What's that? You got a mail. Nice to finally meet you, in person. I'm actually leaving on a journey today. Whoa, that's pretty sudden. You look excited, though. I've never been on a journey by myself. Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to become something other than a human? I was desperately trying to break the shackles of wealth. But now I believe that with the right attitude, life can change for the better. Being surrounded by sheep was interesting. But now, it's time to experience the outside world as a human. That's the great thing about life. You can live it however you want. Thanks. You're always so encouraging. I actually told Roderick something earlier. I said that I could support his music financially if he needed it. Well, let me guess. He refused. <laughs> yes. He became quite upset with me. Thought that he would succeed of his own. But he gave me his contact information. And he also gave me a voice training regimen that I can do even when I'm traveling. He would. Do you think I'll be able to improve my singing on my own? Just give it all you've got. If you put your heart into it, that'll speak for itself. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You got a mail. Hey. Hey, Vincent. Are you going to sit? Hey, Vincent. Hey. I wanted to see you. Tell you something. Hmm? I'm going to marry Anna. I'm throwing away my family and company and everything. What? Really? We're eloping, rather. We're leaving tonight. After this. I see. You guys seem happy. My life is so hard. As if taking care of him wasn't hard enough. It's okay. We have love. Ugh, men are so stupid. That nightmare is going to continue. But I think that's okay. Why? I wouldn't mind nightmares anyway. Don't worry. They'll all end tonight. It feels like it will really be that way when you say it. I hate to say this, but I really look up to you. Thank you, Vincent. Is there anywhere you'd like to live? where somewhere where there aren't many other women Anna oops Vincent heard me but it's all thanks to you thank you so much for saving him yeah Vincent's a really dependable guy ever since he was a kid thank you Vincent to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? You look very handsome today. Oh, really? A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. 
I wonder where you'll end. I wonder what you'll gain. What else is there? Victory and a future. Victory and a future. Of course, us too. Huh? Goodbye, Mr. Man of Legend. May you be blessed. I don't watch the news anymore. Even if I watch the news, they won't come up anymore. Even if I watch the news, you won't ever come up. about tonight is true. You said you'd be fighting? <laughs> you really never change, do you? True or not, I don't think I can lose to him. This is the end. For the mysteries, the rumors, for the guys, and for everyone. He needs to take responsibility. Look, just don't be stupid about it, okay? Everyone's worried about you. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry. Did you hear? I figured out who the witch is. Really? And who is it? It was me! <laughs> you know all that shit that went on when we were young? Seems it got mixed in with the rumors. Well, you did disappear that one time. And to think I just kept spreading the rumor, fooling people. Was there anyone who believed it? You. Well, I never believed it in the first place. Listening to you never leads to anything good. What? Anyway, about what you and Boss were talking about? Dumbass. It's all a lie. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow we can drink and enjoy ourselves. Okay, I hope so. Come back here tomorrow, okay? Have a drink. I'm sure Rin's rooting for you. I hope everything's okay back home, wherever that is. Let's have a toast. Hey, it's you. Sit. I've been waiting for you. I'm glad I'm able to see your face today. Is something bothering you? <laughs> this is my last drink, my last time here. Why is that? I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm gonna find the criminal who shot my wife. But not to kill him. I'm gonna find him and make him atone. I see. Before, I only thought about taking out my hatred and anger on him by killing him. I was blaming him for all my sins, too. Thanks to you, I realized that I was being weak. This isn't much, but it's my advice to you. Hold on to what's important to you. The more important it is to you, the easier it is for it to disappear. Like a dream. Yeah, I understand. I owe you one. Actually, two. One for saving me from myself, and one for saving me from the nightmare. Thanks. I'm done drinking for a while. The next time I drink will be when I visit Sophie's grave and tell her that I caught her murderer. I owe you one. Actually, two. Thank you. <laughs> that curly hair. There's no mistaking it. Nice scarf. Name's Roderick. I'm Vincent. It's uh, nice to formally meet you. Is it just me, or did the bar get fancier? <clears throat> I don't know why, but that waitress told me I could do whatever I want to. So I rearranged it to my liking. I added my song to the jukebox. You won't be able to hear it anywhere else, so be sure to give it a good listen. You listen to my song? It's awesome, right? So I went to visit my friend's grave. Huh? How was it? Sorry, I guess that's a strange question to ask. It was no big deal. But at least now I feel at peace. I also saw my ex, told her I'm gonna start singing again. She actually started crying, saying she's been waiting to hear that. Doesn't matter how many times you screw up, you just gotta keep following your passion. That's what life's about. And when I told Shiny Abul that story, he said that maybe he'll try to become a singer too. I'm trying to be a singer with a voice like that. <laughs> As if. Uh, glad you guys are getting along. Not 
be fun to teach that guy how to sing after he returns from his journey. Thanks. I couldn't have made it without you. Today's lead story is the mysterious weakening deaths. James Thompson, age 33, was found dead today. Was he in the nightmare too? Were we climbing together? And George Baker, age 30. Once again, the names of the deceased. Hey, Vincent. What was that just now? We saw you grabbing Boss. Something happened? No, everything's fine. Sorry you had to see that. I'm not gonna stick my head into every bar brawl you get into, but if something's bothering you, let us know, okay? When we were younger, we'd always help each other as a team. Remember? Yeah. Felt like we could take on the world back then. Fun times. Uh, but Toby here wouldn't know about that, would he? Come on, why you gotta go there? We were like that once, huh? Anyway, we've already settled things. Maybe it's because I'm tired, but the sake is getting to me really quickly. Hey, don't overdo it. Let's have some good stuff tomorrow. What do you mean? Oh, um, nothing. Huh? The course is already set. I just need to keep pushing. I'm not gonna lose. I'll win, and I'll live to see tomorrow. If we hadn't come back, you'd be in some deep shit. I was just screwing around. It didn't look like it to me. I was just getting worked up over a bet, that's all. If you say so, man. But if you do something to get us on the news, man, we're all gonna have to go on the lam. Well, that sounds good. It'll be like when we were kids, out on adventures. So we're adults now, huh? Hey, what are you talking about, guys? Maybe when you're older, kid. Hey, that's mean. Oh, we're gonna have that damn dream again tonight. Are you all right? Man, you know I love you. Say stuff like that. Chief and Orlando aren't looking too good. Everything will be okay after tonight. Which means... Never mind. We'll all be back to normal come tomorrow. I'll bet my life on it. Uh, what are you saying? Hey, don't look at me like I've lost it. Can a guy try to sound cool sometimes? You haven't had any nightmares, have you? You mean that one in the rumors that are supposed to kill you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that gullible. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool then. <sighs> I've made up my mind. I'm putting an end to this tomorrow. <sighs> when I'm done, I need to tell her my true feelings. I won't hesitate now. Ah. <sighs> Seems your glass is empty. You seem to really love rum and gold. Here's some cocktail trivia that may reflect your current mood. The El Diablo is a cocktail named after a demon. This red cocktail is a devilish combination of tequila, lime juice, and ginger ale. Be careful not to let your diabolic companion get you too drunk. That is all for tonight's trivia. Please enjoy the rest of the story. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. Go on, order anything you want. Rum and cola. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Don't get shit-faced, all right? Boss is in here, so it's all on the house. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Tonight, I'll escape again. I'm not just fighting for me tonight. I'll end this once and for all. Empty? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool.
Well, this takes me back. Time to be worrying about money. There's something more important than cash. Are you going home, Vincent? No, I'll, I'll stay and drink some more. Are you going? Don't look so worried, Erica. I'll be okay. Have some faith in me. See me tomorrow. Okay. I believe in you. I'll see you soon then. <laughs> 